Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and good news. We can finally get the File Explorer. They're calling it Classic Search, but I would call it Live Search. It's a search that we've been used to up until somewhere towards the end of 19. And here we are into 2020 and Microsoft finally tried to fix it. And they did what we called, they pulled a Microsoft. They somehow didn't make it any better and possibly made it worse. So since you're already here, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. Your search probably looks like this with a silly arrow button here. You can't do certain things you could do before when we get done. That's how it's supposed to look. That's how it did look. I like change. This is not change. This is not evolving. Sigh. All right. Listen, this should be easy for anybody to do. Just follow me step by step. I'm going to take more time showing you how to do it for people who haven't used PowerShell before than I am explaining what the problem is. Let's press the Windows key plus X and open PowerShell as admin. You're going to want this running in the background here. And let's go download the file we need. Right here, download Mach 2 from Major Geeks and extract the files. Grab that link in the video description. Hit pause right now. Jump over, follow that link, and download 32-bit or 64-bit. So I'm going to download the 64-bit. I'm going to sit here and wait just a few seconds. The download will start automatically, and you'll be able to spot it down here. You can close Major Geeks now or click all of our ads and just refresh 100 pages. Whatever's good for you. All right, let's open it up. So once you open it, we want to extract them. However, we're going to want to extract them somewhere we can find easily. One of the things I don't prefer to do when I have to browse to the folder is I don't like to use the end of the name where it's long. So clear that out. Maybe put it in your username downloads. I think I already have it here, so I'm going to double check. And then you just click extract. I think if I do, it's going to ask to overwrite everything. So um, it'll open up File Explorer in a second window. And as you can see, there's your Mach 2. Now, very, very important in order to make these changes, we need to close File Explorer. OK. All right, let's go get that PowerShell window open. Let's find that file. If you know what you're doing, you can do CD space C colon backslash username, your username backslash downloads will get there. If you don't, I'll just show you real quick. If you do CD backslash, you can actually do a DIR after that. And that shows a listing of all your directories, DIR. As you can see, there's users, so we can go CD space users. And if you hit DIR again, you can see there I am, CD major geeks. And this is just step by step for those of you who haven't done it, because sometimes typing it out, the longer stuff just gets to be a bit of a, a pain for some people if they don't know where they are or where they're going. So finally, you want to go to the download folder. So again, CD space downloads. There we go. Now you can hit DIR just to see what's in there. And there's your Mach 2. Now that we know we're there, we are good to go. There's two things you can type. You might start with this one with a backslash. It depends on your, your Windows security settings. And I'll show you the error message briefly that may appear. I don't want to freak people out by thinking that they did something wrong. So I just assume you saw it. What you can see here, it knows it's there, but I can't necessarily load commands from that location. So you see you got the dot backslash Mach 2. So you can either add dot, you can add period backslash and then type it in with a space, or just highlight this and try it. Even try that in the first time. You know, like a dummy, I closed PowerShell. It's real smart. So here we go. Control V will paste that line in there, press enter. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Exactly what I told you to do earlier. See, even I'm making a mistake. That's why I like to go directory to directory sometimes. So let me think. See, you on backslash. Uh, users, major, get, see if I can get it right the first time. Which I shouldn't be here at all. Come on. Boom. All right, let's try this again. Sorry about that. So remember to try that. Press enter. It's going to do almost nothing. It's going to tell you that you're running, you know, who owns it. It's the feature control multi-tool, but you're looking for this right here. Okay. 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 Now let's open File Explorer and see what we got. And it's back. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to reboot. This has happened to me earlier. Ironically, it worked on my computer. And when I didn't need a reboot, so I came into this one and played around with this one. And guess what happens? I have to reboot. So we're going to restart and just show you it's working. If you trust me, you can leave right now. Click subscribe and like on your way out the door. 
Hold on a minute. We'll bring it up. Oh, well, I got you. Very, very important. Do bookmark the page because since Microsoft already tried to fix it and screwed it up, should they try and fix it again? Oh, and they will. If they don't get it right, you're going to have to do this again until Microsoft figures this one out. So not a big, big deal. But again, I could have chopped up the video and showed you this all nice and neat, but I prefer to leave mistakes in place. I like people who are not geeks to understand that us geeks make mistakes as well. It just happens. There's nothing to be ashamed of. And there are no stupid questions. That's important too. Don't ever forget that. I get asked that a lot. Maybe this is a dumb question. A buddy of mine asked me that today. Maybe this is a stupid question. No, it's not. All right, you ready? Oh, if this doesn't work, I gotta do this all over again. So I know how you feel. Let's just start typing. There it is, working like it's supposed to. So again, bookmark that page, just in case you have to come back and do it again. We're very thrilled to have it back. We've lost so many hours with this broken search. So thanks for watching, as always, see ya.